Cygnus falconari, a prehistoric beast that lived after the dinosaurs, where humans, or should I say homo sapiens, the female is comforting her egg, and the male has already killed two stuff. And the fly pack has lost a member and are enraged from the loss. So, they all, the fly pack, goes back to a rock that has his flesh of another animal on it. And it is pretty good. But who said? Prey mantis. Giant female prey mantis. A pack, well, a two. That I like even flies. So they kill one. They try to kill it. They injured its wing. But the pack carries them to another rock. Two turtles mating. What a nice sight to see. Done. Wow. The in prehistoric turtles could run. Not that fast. That is their run. And a walk is like that. So they eat some of the leaves. A delicious fruit falls, falls from a tree. These are herbivorous creatures hit the boys. Snapping turtles are omnivores. These amazing turtles are herbivores eating, eating the fruit. Flies being interested in all these are kind of mosquitoes and flies. Because, you know, prehistoric. They want to get some food. Killing is not what they do. A hungry, hungry scorpion. With another one right there. A many fallen plant. The two sad primantuses. They just be bugs. Snakes. Scary demonic snakes. An egg that's just moving around. Or, well, wind moved around. An ice tree. So we got two lizards. Who we'll sees the, the defending Falconori? Sagan's Falconori. But they're hung, hungry. Will they sneak up to the nest? Do, 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 One of them takes a bite of the egg. And, and eats the yolk, but not the baby. The female wakes up and kills one lizard. And the other one runs off to get a drink at the swamp and get it scared. But who said giant demons didn't live in the swamp? <sighs> the poor lizard gets killed and drowned. The swamp water turns red. And then he naps. Being something as long neck, it's kind of an advantage if he sleeps. He can keep his head up water and sleep. Put his head on the leaves so he doesn't, or seaweed, so he doesn't die. Female being disappointed. Kills the lizard, the male angered and mad. Starts to relax when the female preens him. Feels good. 
so it relaxes and eats it also. Not in a good way. Eating the whole tail. Even dancing a little bit. Crushing his skull while stepping. He's back to eating the delicious mosquito. But beautiful books also exist. Like these here two ladybugs. In the swamp, something not that nice comes inside of the water. And I won't like it. Joint shark that kills a frog. Oh, the other frog is ribbiting away. And the one frog being dragged into the deep. Oops. Poor frog. All the lizard drowning. The little the beautiful water creature. It's a boy. And in the water, there's a giant killer dolphin. Well, not, it's not even a dolphin. It's something way more scarier. That devours one of the salamanders. The salamander swims for his life. Going near the dangerous animals to be safe. Hunting a frog. Try, bite, not hunting the frog. Boarding his arm before the frog bites back. The venomous bite. The poor thing starts to feel pain. Bit in the stomach. Scratched. He dies. What a saber tooth cat. I think Poster Soup is loving the song, so don't trust me. Poster Soup is crawling away. But it's being chased. So he runs. And leads. Dies, but leads the same cat. The side must fucking hurry. The male defends. It's not interested. He gets a bite of that delicious leg. Two my legs right there. The Solomon's Falcon already being killed. Organs being teared out. And the female running, but the saber tooth cat catches up. She tr she's so close, she floors a bit, but it eats the other lizard. So Miss Falcon already being dead, and the egg being in the hand. Of the saber tooth cat. <laughs> the end.